Hey guys, it's Mr. Patak. Um, this is the second part of Minimus Chapter 10, The Romantic Ring. So in our last story, Flavia was going through some jewels and she found a ring. She goes to Lepidina and asks, well, what is it? And she says, it's a ring, it's expensive. Um, apparently, she has never seen a ring before, which is really quite shocking. But she asks, what is it? And she says, it is a ring. It is expensive. And then she asks, well, why is it expensive? And Lepidina responds, because it is gold or made out of gold. And so now we're going to do the next part of the story. Three more uh, boxes. I'm going to read the Latin for box four, and then I'm going to break it down for you a little bit. So in four, Flavia says, Anulus splendidus est. Ita vero anulus donum a patre tuo est. So first, Flavia saying something about the ring. Anulus. She says it is splendidus. Now you might not know what that means, but it sounds a little bit like the English word splendid. And if you remember back, well, the ring is made out of gold, and the ring is expensive. So what do you think she's probably saying about the ring? Is it like a really nice ring, or is it like an awful ring? She hates it. So figure out what splendidus has to mean. You can pretty much just say splendid anyway. And then Lepidina responds, Ita vero. So she says, like, like this is this awesome ring, and then she responds, Itawero. What do you think Itawero has to mean? Like if your friend says like, wow, my, I have a really, really awesome, um, you know, car or something like that. And you respond, Itawero. Um, well, I'll just tell you what it means because it's two words, but in English it means yes. And then lastly, Lepidina says a little bit more about the ring. The ring is actually Lepidina's, by the way. It's not Flavia's. Flavia just found it. She says, Anulus donum a patre tuo est. So she's saying that the ring is a donum. That sounds a little bit like the English word donate um, or donor or anything like that. So think about what donum has to mean. And then she says, it is a donum a patre tuo. This right here is Flavius, and he is um, the pater of um, Flavia. So Lepidina says, Anulus donum a patre tuo est. What do you think she's saying here? Think about it. And then in box five, let me read the Latin and I'll break it down for you. Le, uh, Flavia says, Quid haec verba sunt? And off screen, Lepidina responds, Anima mea. So, quid haec verba sunt? If you remember back um, to the last video I did, we should have figured out that quid is what? We should already know that sunt is are. So what are haik verba? Well, she's pointing at the ring and asking what are something. So think about what normally goes on rings. Some rings have writing on them. Yeah, these are called um, inscriptions. So that's the most obvious thing that she's asking about. Um, if you didn't know what haik verba is, well, let's look at the response. She's asking something about the ring, Flavia is, and Lepidina responds, anima mea. Well, she responds with two words. So, um, and it's not like gem or jewel, so we know that Lepidina is talking about um, the writing on the ring. And I'll tell you what anima mea means. It means my soul. Remember, it's a romantic ring. The title of the story, if we go all the way back, 
is a romantic ring. So Flavio sent a ring with a romantic saying, Anima mea, on it, my soul. So then think about what haik werba has to mean. What are haik werba? Well, haik werba are my soul, anima mea. Um, if you don't know, of course, you can always look them up. And then finally, box six, Flavia says, Quem amatorius est. So, if you see the sentence ends in an exclamation mark, and Flavia is all, you know, she's got like, you know, like, ah, oh, like happy face on, like, um, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, so she's saying something like how she's feeling. So then think about what this word quam has to mean. Like just the way that she's talking um, and the fact that there's an exclamation point at the end. And then finally, she's talking about something like to do with this guy. That's Cupid, um, a god, and he's the god of love or romance. And remember, it's a romantic ring. So Amatorius has to mean romantic. So then your job is to figure out what quam means. Okay, guys, and that is the whole story for Minimus Chapter 10, The Romantic Ring. Go ahead and complete the Google form for this assignment, and I do think that's all the assignments I'm putting up for this week in Latin class. Walete, goodbye.